Hi, this is Rick, directly from the uh, emergency room at the Landspitali in Iceland. And I want to take a few minutes to introduce you to, to the uh, Blaubart, or the uh, venous and arterial uh, access table. We've decided to assemble everything that you need to put uh, from everything from a peripheral access up to a difficult IV access or a central venous catheter and even art lines. Everything has been assembled into this card. And since we've had a few new items, I wanted just to go over the, every um, drawer so people are familiar with it. And, and when we ask for something, people know exactly where it is and they can just pull it out. So on the first drawer, we have um, everything for peripheral IVs. So we have the regular IV set on the left side, we have the dressings, we have the flush, we also have these small um, arterial cannulas that we put on the radial artery. We, for difficult IV access, we also have these, uh, the IO, the uh, bed box now, better here. So two, um, two guns for it. And then we have for pediatrics, adult, and for large adult. In the second drawer, we have everything to put an arterial line. Um, we're in the process of changing it. Uh, ICU has a different uh, arterial uh, set, and uh, soon we're going to change it. I'll just let you know when we have a new kit. Here it's just uh, more IV lines, lines to flush, everything that is needed. And where it gets a bit more interesting is that the fourth drawer is for the CDK accesses. So on the left side, we have the rapid infuser catheter. It's a catheter set that we can convert a peripheral IV into something much, much bigger. I don't have the exact number, it's hard to find, but basically I think you can put, a, uh, you can flush a liter of uh, fluid or of blood into um, in, within minutes. So very, very good for bleeding patients that you need a lot of blood quickly. If we open a kit, what comes into it is basically um, you, you uh, first of all, you need just a peripheral IV. Usually a, a 14, 16 or 18 should be enough. Usually you would put this into the intercubital, that's in the elbow area or something more approximately in the, uh, in the upper arm. And then what you do is you pass this wire through the IV axis, just a regular cell nigger technique. And then you can open it a bit more. We have a, um, we have a blade, you do a small uh, nick into the skin. You remove the peripheral IV, you leave the wire in, and then you convert it through the cell linger with this. So you have an integrated dilator that you would just push through the cell linger. And then after this, you need to remove it, the dilator, and then you just leave, leave this big catheter inside. Might be not obvious on the movie, but it's a pretty big size catheter. It's about seven French. And then after this, you need to secure it and then you can connect it to some, uh, some lines and then you just give a lot of fluid or blood. We also have the standard um, CVK, the central venous catheter. This is a seven French with three lumens. Um, and for those who are not that familiar, it's basically consists of three smaller uh, catheters. So you have a 16, you have an 18, and you have a, an 18. Some people would say that would think that it's it's better to give a lot of fluid, but actually it's not that good because maybe the catheter itself is big, but the three lumens inside are not that not that big. And then you can flush about three liters per hour, 1.8 liter per hour, or 1.9. So I mean, this is good for if you need to give pressure or calcium or, or potassium and intravenous in large amounts, um, but not great to give a lot of volume in a short period of time. They come like this, so pretty standard CBK kit, everything that is needed is inside. And then what we decide to, to buy, one of the new kit is a central venous catheter, but only one line. It's 14 gauge, 16 centimeter long, pretty standard central venous catheter. Everything that is, re, uh, that is required is inside a standard Seldinger technique. 
it's only one line so you can just flush it much easier to install and one of the reasons we decided to buy it is to move away from the Sekalon, uh, which are not selling here. We'll talk about it later. And the other reason we decided to buy it is that the flow rate is higher than the other uh, central venous catheter with three lumens. So one lumen, one bigger lumen, 14 gauge, we can give about 4.5, a 5.4 liter per hour. So if you need a lot of blood, a lot of fluid, you should go maybe with a with a rapid infusion catheter, but this is quite decent amount. Two other pieces of equipment that we have is the Sekalon. The Sekalon are basically a one, I would say like a, a large uh, central venous catheter access that you can install. I would say it's quite a um, Scandinavian thing. I haven't seen this much in Canada. Uh, we'll talk about more in detail, but usually the way people do it is that they cannulate this into the the femoral artery or femoral vein. It's not a selling your technique, so you need to use the ultrasound or some people do it blind. And then once you have a flash of blood, you just thread the catheter. So it's a catheter over the needle technique. This one is the, uh, the green one, so 18 gauge, nine centimeter long. Um, in terms of amount of fluid you can give, it's about uh, 55 ml per minute. So not a great amount of, of fluid that you can give, 55 ml per minute is not great, but sometimes people use it just to have a very quick um, quick and dirty access to a central venous, uh, uh, yeah, central venous access. <clears throat> we have the green one, just like this, so 18 gauge, nine centimeter. And we also have the gray one, Okay, so this one is a bit bigger, so 16 gauge and longer, 130 uh, uh, millimeters, so 13 centimeter. This one, the flow rate is a bit better, so 139 ml per minute, as you can see. So again, this is a catheter over the needle. Uh, I would say for a central venous catheter, it's much, much better to have a sound digger technique. And of course you need to use the ultrasound, but we'll talk about the in detail and uh, we'll talk about this in detail in a further movie. And then on the right side, we have the central venous catheter pack, also called the Akoreri um, kind of like sterile package. When you open this, you have the fields, you have the needles, you have everything to do this uh, sterile. So the thingy right here on the right. So I was talking about the second one. Some people sometimes, if we need a, a femoral arterial line, I've seen people use it. Um, it's quite fast to install. But one thing we decided to move towards is to have a proper Selinger technique femoral arterial line. So we bought this, so it's an arterial cather catheterization set. It's 18 gauge, 16 centimeter long. One of the reasons we bought it is that this is the introducer needle. It's ultrasound opaque, so uh, you will see it much, much better with the uh, ultrasound. And then once you have a return of, of blood, you just put your cell nigger wire through it, you remove the needle, and then you thread the femoral arterial line uh, catheter, and then you need to secure it here uh, to the skin of the patient. So this is something we should move towards. We should move away from the second ones. Uh, they're not selling here, they're poorly opaque on ultrasound, and this is much better. So, femoral arterial line, second ones, we have the rig on the left side, the standard CVK, one lumen or three lumen in the middle, and everything to be sterile um, on the right side. <clears throat> and then the last drawer is basically more equipment to be sterile. So again, this was just a quick overview of the Blaubart or the venous or arterial access table and everything that you need for a peripheral or a central venous catheter for uh, arterial lines, either radial or a central, uh, as in the femoral artery is inside of this. We also have the intraosseous. We have the equipment to be sterile, we have the chlorhexidine. So please, please uh, open it, be familiar with it. It usually stays in one of the acute, and when we have a research, we just put push. Uh, we just pull this table next to the patient, and then we're ready to roll. 
So like I said, small overview, and then we'll go into details with the, the specific catheters and, and subsequent movies. And I hope you uh, learned something. And uh, on this, I'll say bless, bless.